Today we're making a cast iron skillet pizza with goat cheese and veggies. The beauty of this pizza is really in the crust. By baking it right in the skillet, we get a crust that is fluffy, soft, and crispy. I'm gonna be making this dough right in my food processor, so that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put one cup of warm water in. To this, I'll add two and a quarter tablespoons of active dry yeast. That's the equivalent of one of the small packets that you get. Now to the warm water and the yeast, I'll add one teaspoon of honey. Next, I'll give it a stir. So now we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes to let the yeast proof or activate. We'll know that it's ready when there's a foamy, bubbly mixture on top. As you can see, the yeast has been activated, so now we're ready to move to the next step. Next, in a bowl, I'm going to combine one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. I like to measure out flour by first scooping it, then leveling it off. That way, you don't get the compression that happens if you were to shake the flour to measure it. Now I'll mix the flour together. Now I'm gonna add one and a half cups of my flour mixture into my proofed yeast mixture. Next, I'll add one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, and a teaspoon each of dried basil and granulated garlic. I'll put the top on the food processor and then I'll let it rip on the dough setting. And I'll stop that and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the flour. We're gonna add flour in half quarter cup additions. And you may find that you don't need all of the flour. When the dough starts to really come together into a ball, it's probably about there. And the dough's perfect. It's smooth, but still kind of tacky and sticky. So now I'm gonna turn it out onto a lightly floured surface. If you didn't use all of the flour, which is what happened in my case, you can use that to flour your surface. So I'll turn my dough out. And I'll knead this together into a ball. So I'll discard the rest of this flour and I'll use this bowl again actually and we're gonna let our dough rise in here. I've wiped the flour out of the bowl and now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm just gonna place the dough in the olive oil. I'm gonna kind of move it around and this will prevent the dough from sticking and from drying out. And in fact, I like to take a little brush and then brush the top of the dough with a little olive oil. sort of roll it around too.
Now I'll put a tight fitting lid over this or you could use plastic wrap and put this in the fridge. We're gonna let it proof about double in size. That'll take an hour and a half to two hours, but the flavor really improves if you can let this sit. So I like to make this at least a day in advance, even two, three days in advance. It'll be really, really delicious. This is dough that I made yesterday a day in advance. And so you can see it's about doubled in size. So I'll set this aside and I'm gonna get my toppings ready. So I'm gonna grate some cheese. This is low moisture mozzarella. So this is enough dough for about two medium pizzas and a 12 inch skillet. So we'll go ahead and cut this in half. All right, so I've divided it into two sections. Now I'm going to use some of the olive oil that's still in this bowl and let it slide down onto the pan. Next, I'll place the dough with the oil side down in the pan. Working really gingerly, I'm going to press the dough into the skillet. Now we gave the dough a lot of time to rise, so we don't wanna reverse all that by squeezing out all the air. That's why I'm working kind of gently. Do you see how um, it'll tear a little bit? That's okay if it tears a little here and there, when this bakes, the dough is going to puff up quite a bit and it'll fill in any of those small tears. You can see that we've pressed the dough out to the edges. Now I'm going to put my toppings on. I'm going to use a little bit of tomato sauce. You can use your favorite marinara. I'm using about three to four tablespoons. some mozzarella cheese, some onions, I'm using sliced red onion here. I think it looks nice and I really like the flavor of red onions on a pizza. And I'm going to top it off with some goat cheese. I'm gonna pop this into a preheated 500 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the crust and cheese is all golden brown. Just took the pizza out of the oven, it looks great. Next, I'm gonna take it out of the pan and slide it onto a wooden cutting board. Let it rest there for about five minutes and then it will cut into it. It's ripping hot, don't go near it. Now I'm gonna put some basil on as a finishing touch. 